Hi, I'm Cece, and welcome back to the Backyard server. I am here currently flying towards spawn at great speed. Ooh, there we go, perfect. Yeah, I'm here at... So, today we're going to be doing something pretty fun. For those of you who have uh, kept up with my channel, uh, thank you. But also, you'll know that I am a little bit uh, rail obsessed, I guess. <laughs> I'm a bit of a rail fan. And today... We are going to finally bring the rail to the backyard server, and I, what the heck is, um... I'll give a basic rundown as to how the rail system works in a bit. I think the absolute best place to start is going to be by hunting in a station. Having a hub station that you can connect everything up to is going to make this an absolute breeze, uh, in comparison to just kind of willy-nilly building stuff. And I think here, if I go into Cheeky Cam, on top of this mountain next to spawn is pretty much the perfect place for this. Somewhere around here. So I'm going to have a north-south central line, but we'll get into that later. But now I just kind of want to say we're going to have the rail be here. So this will be a two-lane rail. It will connect up into a station over this way. And then around here is where we'll have the actual train platform. Hello. Track and shot. Uh, uh, um, I've managed to hit just below and just... Ab what? It's getting worse. What is happening? Oh, it's despawned. It's despawned. <laughs> it despawned. Okay, so Crispy came over and I got a little bit distracted, but I did get at least a basic layout, and honestly, it looks way smaller than I thought it was going to be. So the idea is that you'll have an incoming platform and an outgoing platform, or I don't know which side would be which, but it's kind of long and very skinny, and we might have it so there's like a second bit that goes off the side, and like maybe there's some side buildings that connect to it, like maybe a cafe on one side, and then maybe a toilet, something, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I'm struggling to think how I'm going to connect up the rails to the T-junction. But thinking about it, do I even need a T-junction? So there's no reason for it to go in and then back out. Yeah, but for now, I think I'm going to focus on doing the redstone. It should be pretty simple. Rails should be pretty simple. It's just a case of... Duh, 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 duh. Okay, I'm going to switch these uh, tough bricks out here into uh, regular bricks. I think that's going to be closer to the palette we end up going with. So now this is set up, so if you just press this button, it'll power each of them on one by one and let them equally space out the minecarts along the uh, the track. And that works with any button. Redstone is exceedingly simple. It's just a redstone wire behind all the buttons and then it goes into here and just kind of has four ticks between them. Pretty much every component I'll be building today will have a tutorial, so if you want to go check that out, I'll have the links in the description. So now to do the opposite side, which is a little bit more complicated, but not really by much. I just need to switch out the blocks. And both sides of the platforms are in. Uh, I got a little bit distracted by talking to Crispy and Billy, so uh, I forgot to record any clips doing this. <laughs> but we have now the unloading platforms and the loading platforms. I've slightly adjusted the proportions and stuff to make it more symmetrical. So if I just plop in some minecart chests and then just go bloop, It'll send them out one at a time and put them over here and that will put them into each bay individually. And the way this works is basically underneath each of these detector rails is just a little bit of redstone that goes into the power drill. Uh, and when a minecart goes onto one of these uh, bays, it will just flip the track for the next one and just kind of pass it along. So yeah, super simple. And that is pretty much all you need for the platform designs. I do have some more complex designs for these, but I think for spawn, I want it to be as simple as possible to make it as like universally usable. Just for here, we can start going a bit weird with some of the other stations later on. But next step is going to be doing the, uh, the, 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 the the ticket machine, yay! And here is the ticket machine. Uh, it's a pretty simple design. It's basically just a basin of water with a bunch of barrels next to it, and the way you use it is that each of these barrels will have like a pre-programmed route in it with uh, different sets of tickets. So for example, like this one would be my base, maybe here would be BHs, cherries, lumbles, cools, etc, etc. 
And then imagine that inside here, these are like named pieces of paper or some other material that will then act as tickets and these will kind of guide the minecart to its final destination. And all you need to do is just go blip, blip, blip by pressing Q on each of them once. And then that will go fill a minecart that should come up over here. Yeah, secretly through the floor. That's awesome. I love that. Uh, and yeah, that's it. That that way, it's just a minecart set up for you. You don't have to you don't have to faff around by like like going uh, uh, having like one at a time. And it's it's a faff. So that that makes it a lot easier. And there's enough here to do 28 stations that can be automatically refilled. And then there's a, an extra bonus seven at the bottom. And speaking of refilled, what I'm thinking of doing oh God, is I'm going to set up all of these with hoppers with like a big reservoir of tickets in the back that will automatically refill it. Like, I think a double chest of tickets should probably cover us for the entire season. I doubt anywhere is going to be using that many tickets, but we'll get to that in a second because I want to work on doing a chest storage area because right now I've got this double chest here with all the minecarts in. I think I want to do more of a dispenser system or at least like a big reservoir system that you can put your minecarts back into and it will also refill the uh, the dispenser down here that will be for the ticket machine. This is probably enough. I might do them a bit of uh, messing around with it. I just need to make sure people always put in uh, only chest minecarts into this one and then over here I'll probably just have a mirrored version. Oh god I forgot the word in there. <laughs> when I put these in here, they should just start getting automatically filtered down below. And I'll just get in like a really big stockpile of them. So the reds. <coughs> oh god. <coughs> oh god, I need to stop calling clips before I talk. Okay, so the redstone is all sorted here now, and it is pretty much ready for use. Just need to stockpile up some of the minecart chests and stuff. But out here, we actually have a little bit of planning going on. So Sprinkles has come online. She is my co-conspirator for the, uh, the, the, the the Veil project. And she's going to be in charge of handling the aesthetics of the place. And what we've done is we've got a little plan going on here. Where we're going to have a sort of bigger building out the front. With a archway through the middle. That will then have the rail kind of run through. And then I think it's going to go out into like a main street over here and maybe a little bit over here as well. So I need to clear out a little bit spot here. Crispy is having some internet problems as well, unfortunately. Um, oh, he's back. Over here, we're going to have uh, like a little bit of a retaining wall with a minecart track that heads over that way and then heads over that way. But I don't know if we'll get that to that today. Oh god, threw my axe at them. No, don't take that. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, you can't sleep when you're on fire, that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to get some area cleared out and then I can start doing the actual redstone to get you into the station. It's a little bit of a cramped area, but I think it should be fine. I don't think there'll be any problems here. I'm just a bit worried about the redstone here, but I think it should work. This is terrible. Oh, for God's sake. No. No. No, oh, it's just a mess. No. No. Yeah, I'm just going to go away and come back. Okay. Let me in. Let's just do a little bit of blocking him off. No, he just shot himself. So what I was planning <laughs> to get set up is I want to do a water elevator. I don't understand how there's orbs. What? How'd you get up, th you get up there? <laughs> Actually, that's kind of helpful. How, how are you up there, though? Did you tell... What? <laughs> Okay, well that's actually perfect, because I need them at that height anyway. Of all the places it has available, it chooses there. Is it a second? Oh, there's a second shulker. Okay. Okay, and then let's get in a platform here. Get a bridge going. I can then take him over the bridge. 
Okay, here's the question. Firstly, I do suffocate in that. Good to know. So do I just like have to break the boat and then he goes through the portal? Is that is that how that works? I, I, I don't want to release it just in case it is. Okay, okay. I'm just going to do a little... Uh... Yes! Did he go through? No! Oh, this doesn't seem right. Woo! Uh, uh. Suffocating. Oh no! Let's hope that he hasn't despawned. Do the shulkers despawn? I don't think they do. Oh, you've got an absolute sniper on this guy. Look at that! <laughs> okay, well, he's directly in the end gateway right now. F3B. I think that worked. I think he went through. There he is. Look, he made it. Crack him. Okay. Uh, for now, I'm just going to put this guy somewhere safe. Uh, we'll make like a little home for him. Just, I'll sort out a farm another time. I can probably build something around him. Hopefully he doesn't shoot himself like the other one did. If he does, then that's probably not going to be an issue though, actually. Don't shulk her. Open inside. <laughs> So, the redstone is all in now, it, all the logic is sorted out, and there's also a building around it. Uh, this kind of just keeps appearing, like each time I go away for a bit, it, a new bit appears. So if I just keep leaving, eventually the entire building will be here. <laughs> but the, the redstone is all sorted, and I've got all the tickets in here too. But something I'm going to be doing different in this world versus my other server is we're going to be using nuggets for the tickets. On the other world I play on, we use uh, name pieces of paper. On this server, I figured we have such a large supply of iron from my iron shop over there. We may as well just use well, iron nuggets. Because a single, a single? A single stack of iron blocks will make nine stacks of iron ingots, which each make nine stacks on their own. And that's enough iron nuggets to fill up three barrels just of iron nuggets. That is ridiculous. So a few stacks of iron blocks should really cover us for quite a while. It's just going to take a lot of time to rename all the tickets. But what's this about tickets? I haven't really explained that yet. So the way that this works is at the start of every one of your trains, you'd have a ticket minecart. This ticket minecart have as many tickets as you have for that route. And for this one, if you want to get into spawn, you would need a spawn ticket. So just put that in there. And when it runs over this, It'll switch that track and put you into the station. And then, without a ticket, you just go forward. And that's essentially the basis of it. Anywho's, Twinkles has started work on the aesthetics. Look at this. Station is starting to take shape. We're going for the brick aesthetic with like bits of terracotta and stuff in. Originally, it was a little bit more ruined, but we kind of turned it down a bit. I think maybe we could even push it back a little bit further, maybe? I don't know, I don't know how pristine I want this building to be. But uh, over here you might notice we have uh, we have this guy. This is Ticker. So Crispy and I made this little guy after some shenanigans. So it kind of looks like he's a bunny. But then over here we have the bridge that goes over the top. That's obviously not meant to be there. And then this takes you over to the uh, actual station where I have started doing some experimenting with like pillars and archways and all that jazz. Yeah, now it's just a case of doing a bit of decoration. I think it's all in the aesthetics now. I think the redstone is completely done. So let's do a little bit of building, I guess. And maybe we can do this in a bit of a CC montage time lapse thingy, the Bobby. Yay! <laughs> And there we go, look at that, it looks great. Uh, but as you can probably hear from my voice, I am not doing too well. 
<laughs> I've got a bit of a chest infection. But anyways, uh, we have everything sorted. It's all done. Woo! It's all functional. I'm, I'm really happy. It's so cool. Which means we can now start getting to work on connecting up the server. So, I think we can start uh, working on other people's stations now. I think it should be all ready. But I'm going to have to do a lot of time at the like Enderman grinder and stuff to get loads of levels to name all the tickets. But before that, we need some actual tracks. So, I think between episodes, maybe on stream sometimes, and like... Just odd bits throughout episodes, I'll do some expansion of the veil along with sprinkles and other members of the server. And we can hopefully get our base connected up and then everyone else's as well. But, uh, oh, uh, don't look over there. I have to admit, uh, this place is somewhat, let's just say thumbnail ready. Like, this side looks great. But if you go, whoop, it, yeah, it's obviously not complete. That's partly because I've just ran out of resources, like, this is all I have left now. But also, I think we might be putting something over here, so I don't know. I'll, make, I'll cover it up for now, but we'll do that another time. But yep, that's what we're going to call it, and I hope you enjoyed. So I'll see you in the next one, and hopefully I don't sound like this. Okay, bye!